guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 21 of So I'm a Spider Show What. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, hold on, I'm just stupid fucking mouse. In three, two, one, go. My precious baby boy. Oh. Ah! I'm still wondering why they had to make the soldiers. Oh, damn. Um, CGI. <laughs> Even him, too? Like, Jesus. Mm. Oh, well, damn. So, you know, when they come, why don't we just go ahead and start with that? I mean, like, oh, <laughs> just blow them away. Mm-hmm. 
Unfortunately, yes, you do. Even if you don't agree with them, you still have to help them. I mean, that's the same thing with other things that I don't really feel like talking about now, but yeah. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because the only one we've ever seen but no because we've seen one and we've heard one we've heard d but we've seen dude who works with d But then, okay, hold on, hold on. But then why would the administrators want to do this? I mean, I, I kind of get it and understand it, but then, hmm. Yeah, it would be. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, that dangerous. I mean, like, oh, did I not tell you about what the fuck she did? Like, I mean, oh my god. There was a point in time where I thought Sophia was not going to be a big ass threat, but like, oh.
Come here, Code. I know, but... Like, <sighs> exactly. It wouldn't be right for him to just be like, okay, yeah, let's just cheat, fuck everybody, and then everyone dies. Except Sean and everyone else, who's important. So Zwaka we're literally not going to be in this episode and overall because I mean we're only like we're 13 minutes in and she hasn't even made a fucking appearance. We haven't gone back in time. No, I do. Uh, okay, well, we just kill him now. I'm trying not to poke you at my nails. Come on. Cody, back up, please. It's too late, they're calling. I mean, well, damn, I didn't think he was going to go ahead and do what the fuck he just did, but, I mean... 
you can't trust any of your former comrades slash, you know, classmates and then and anything else, you know, fuck them. Big old fuck them. Hell, I still don't even trust him. They really done mm, God. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Mm. I mean, like, no, we'll wait until the end of the episode. For one second. You can't get the fuck out of the way. Sit your ass on the side. See? There you go. <laughs> Be a bad bitch and just watch. Bullshit hours. So now we're just going into the seven deadly sins. You know, the teacher is the one character that I don't really want to die in this series. But if she dies... Oh, God.
Are you suffocating? Sean? Fucking finally, we two about to duke it out again. I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Okay, this kind of like the pace of it. It, it was not. Mm, God, it was not too fast, but it was not too slow. This felt really weird. Not to ha to have an episode once again. Overall, not having Waka button. I get it to the fact is I love the fact that we go back and forth, but it would have been still interesting to see her little ass to see whatever the fuck she's doing now. But I'm guessing we're going to get that kind of like half next week of course but oh god if the teacher would have died this week because I really like her a lot and I I you know I feel so sad for her and such because yeah the choices that she makes she made yeah she's really upset with herself but at the same time as like an adult and you're thinking about you know your students who are technically like your other children you have to do what is best for you and for them yeah it, it wasn't really the best decision i mean yes kidnapping some of them yeah that's a little fucked up buying them off from their family also a, a very fucked up but she did it because she loved and cared for them oh so much and you, I, I sympathize with that. I feel so, like, happy she did it. But at the same time, I'm saddened because it's like, do you have to stoop that low and, and stuff? But it's like, like I said, if she would have died this week, I probably would have been hella pissed. And because, like, oh, yeah, girl. It got colder in here. His eyes are pretty. Be forever me. It's an interesting title for an episode, but okay. The fact is that, like, <laughs> can we just talk about how one of the classmates came in, threw the damn explanatory, and like, you know, like you fought for a couple of seconds and threw the explanatory, and was like, peace, like, see you later. I honestly thought that he was going to be on the side of good. Yes, going back to like what last week of the floor when we saw him. I was like, okay, you're just going to be a new character. You're probably good, maybe. I don't know. But then you get into the next week, this week, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. Like, god damn it. Like, why? Why were my trust things wrong? But, okay. Talking about the CGI once again, of course, like, I'm getting very, a lot of flashbacks to season three of Overlord and how I, re I remember because oh god never go forget when I watched that show and how everybody was like oh DJ you're not gonna like the CGI and I, I mean because like the CGI in both this versus Overlord it's not bad but it's not good I understand like yes they only have like a certain amount of budget believe me I've, I've seen it before I've been in situations where like if we made a project and we've only had like this amount in our budget and you still gotta make it the best damn thing that you can be but i, I mean like yeah it, it, it's a it's a little bit of the in between i mean there, there's good cgi and there's bad cgi and this is kind of in the between we all know that the overlord cgi was bad cgi right we can all agree to disagree on that like yes um but I understand of why they had to do it. I, I wasn't expecting it to go, like, the battle would have gone back and forth between CGI and 2D. I was expecting it just to suddenly be 2D. But, I mean, it was interesting. Yeah, I mean, like, god damn, like, it, oh god. The blood looked nice. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about it. But we are getting very close to, to closer 
to the end of this series and I think I talked to somebody like I think what two three weeks ago um and I think I brought this up last week I don't remember because like your girl is so busy as fuck that I don't always remember everything um the potential quote unquote of this getting a season two and the last thing that I, I remember talking about it was I think DVD sales or merch sales wasn't it, it was doing good but not as a point where like they were saying like oh it's a possibility I would still want for this show to get a season two I think if it did um necessarily I think you know would I would I be okay with 20 more episodes again I don't know I think that's something that we would really have to talk about once we get to the final episode of me um, talking about this overall. But, like, the biggest thing is I would want a season two because with with the way we're going and wherever the hell this is going to officially end on whatever book number we are on, because as of right now, I don't even know. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ask this. What book are we on for, for this number? Like, that one and two. How many, I think, like, the last time, I don't even remember if I asked this. How many books are there in this series? Like, okay, is this longer than, mm, let's see. Is it more than five But Well, of course it's going to be more than five. Is it more than ten books? Because if, let, let's say we're on book six. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a guess. But, I, I mean, like, anything could happen. They could end in anywhere the fuck they want to with these last few remaining episodes that we have with it. But, like, I really just hope that when we get to the finale, because, like, everything's going oh so well. I, I just really need that last episode to end on a really good high point and such. Or to a point where it's like a, um, not like a cliffhanger or it ends abruptly like The Sopranos or any other TV show where it's just like, oh, we're just going to end it and then that's it. You're not going to get anything. You, we, I need something to like bring everything all together and such. Whether they end it with Shun and our friends being getting a happy ending or we end how we started with Wakaba. Either way, it's fine with me. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 21. Uh, 21. There you go. I'm so a spider, so what? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episode 22. Bye, guys.